Hey everybody, it's Brent in Central Arkansas. It's been a pretty long time since I've done a greenhouse update. I had Brassica Tower problems before, I think, uh, called them a failure. And I did try to grow them again and uh, insulate them and that sort of thing. Uh, didn't just didn't, it never recovered. So let me tell you about what's going on now. You can see here that this is the second fawn station here and it's a new one and that's because I took this one out and, the, and one more closer to me here and put them in the heated greenhouse right over there and uh, right now we are trying to get this all ready so on the second fawn and the third fawn here I redid this a little bit beefed it up a little bit I put an extra board down there to keep any sagging from happening and I put a center support in there so basically this one is complete and it's level and this one is rock steady rock uh, solidly built and that's because I have I'm using the old deck wood and uh, better to use it than throw it out right so this one is super solid um, I would not have built it this way if I didn't have the wood because all that wood's more expensive. But uh, So that's what I've got here. I've got two stations. Each one of these platforms will grow 30 containers full. Just like uh, my fourth fawn platform here, there's 30 growing in it. I'll have to give you a quick look here. I've got some uh, various kinds of lettuces here. And uh, you can do some cut and come and that. That's good. Got some cabbages here. There's two in this this one, and I've I've grown actually there's three in this one, and I've grown three in containers. This is a weed. Well, that one, yeah, that's a weed. I've grown three cabbages per container before. It's a little tight. I think two would do a little better, but got some leeks going on here, and right behind is some onion bulbs and. A stray lettuce seed start growing in the onion uh, pot container there and I just let it go it seems to be doing well uh, another cabbage here there's a couple in here here's some cauliflower some celery starting here uh, some Diablo um, Brussels sprouts here and here and then some more cabbage here it's golden acres you can see from the tab I've got some um, Alamo turnip greens. This is a uh, potential to save seed from this one. And the same thing with this one. I'm not uh, cutting and coming anymore with these. I'm just going to let them, when it warms up, go to seed. Um, those two are okay. I've got one on the back side. It's ideal and uh, for the third generation. Okay, you can see the kale plant here. It has been cut. And uh, it came back aggressively, and I've had this thing growing for a really long time now. Uh, I don't know how long. At least a year, I'd imagine, or close to it. Got some peas growing here, and in that one over there, that cage over there. And they seem to be doing okay. They're a little slow. I think it's probably because of the weather. We've had some cooler weather um, below freezing the last couple nights. And it's really good that these things obviously grow better than like in the Nebraska towers I'd had. They don't, they seem to bounce back pretty quickly. Uh, so turnip greens uh, are definitely a winter crop. Um, got some spinach here, uh, doing real well. In this one, I've only got one plant growing in that one, but we'll leave it. Uh, some more lettuce for cut and come here, here, and here. Some carrots that I started in the next three containers, and I think they're Dulceva carrot, and we'll see how those go. Over here, more leeks, a different kind of sweet pea growing up. This one looks like it's taken off now. This is my baby plant right here. This is a turnip green. It looks like it. <laughs> it looks like they may have crossed it with a Chinese cabbage, some traditional turnip green with the Chinese cabbage. The way it's growing, it's it's different than the other ones by a little bit and I really like this one a monster cabbage I mean a monster uh, turnip green huge leaves and they taste awesome even when they're this big which I can show you my hand in comparison here it's a pretty good size 
So I really like this one and I'm going to try to save some seed as well. Some, uh, that's, I think that's Oregon Sugar Pod Pea and that one too. Some a little bit more mature leeks here in the next couple pots. A little less mature leeks. And these are the pull and come back later carrots. I cut the tops off of them a good bit. And um, they are com the tops are coming back here. And uh, that will be great to pull some of these carrots and bring them in as we need them. So anyway, that's what's going on with the carrots. Now the last fawn, this one was really high. I think, uh, yeah, it was four high. And um, it had uh, broccoli and cabbage and Brussels sprouts and all growing out of the arms here. And I tried to, and I had a winter freeze come and I tried to, uh, and they ended up flopping over really badly. And I think it's because the coal got into these pipes here, the arms here and the, and the roots got really damaged. Well, they uh, never recovered. I tried to insulate the pipe here, as you can see, and, um, and uh, it, they still never recovered. It looked like they kind of tried to, but they never did. So what I did was I took them down to one level here, I added a couple buckets in between each one, and we're going to plant this out with something until the summer crops get here. But um, as you can see here, we've got some spinach, a good bit of spinach here. I've already cut off of this one once, and four of the pots have the spinach, so I can pull some spinach as we need it, and this stuff is awesome. It tastes really awesome. Now, I am also attempting to reuse these arms and um, and I've planted some in these arms here uh, just straight in and put these little domes on to see if they would sprout but we got well below freezing the past couple nights so if there was something growing in them potentially they were killed off I'm sure but uh, we will see in the next few days so that's pretty much what's going on in the summer greenhouse here and you know i've got stuff i've got stuff i can eat on here and i'm enjoying the dickens out of the summer greenhouse too that winter greenhouse over there uh, is taking a lot of my time along with some other stuff getting some the truck doing some stuff with the truck to get ready for a trip in march but um yeah i've been busy and uh, the greenhouse here is still looking quite good, if you ask me. So this is Brent, you guys. Just an update on what's going on inside the greenhouse. Let me know what you think. See you later.